and it is the world's longest railway bench. Trains there and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train Day 31. Now I did only wake up like half an hour ago so I am still uh, pretty tired trying to wake myself up a bit but uh, fortunately the first station I'm visiting isn't too long of a ride away. I'm off to Cottingham, Arum, Beverley, Putter Cranswick, Napperton, Driffield, Bridlington and Scarborough. I am just waiting at the minute at Hull to get on the first train which is sitting right here behind me. It's 145 344. Alright, I'm at Cossingham. It is still a little bit dark. Well, it's not dark, it's just a bit foggy, dare I say. But I am only here for about 15 minutes until my next train. And the next train is an important one to get, actually. Now, Cottingham, I was going to say it's a northern only station, but I have just seen that whole trains clearly call here. Not sure if that's a recent thing or what, because I'm sure when I searched it online it said <laughs> that it was just northern trains. But um, anyways, northern trains and whole trains, and it's got two platforms. There are information displays here. There are quite a few uh, waiting shelters along the platforms. We've got a footbridge to cross the platforms, of which I've just come over uh, to get a shot on the station, and I'm gonna immediately go back over because my next train is like about to pull in. I'm on 3158787. Um, I am on the two dodgy station Aram, and Aram is the station that I've like planned the whole day around. Yeah, need to make sure I uh, get this one done. I'm at Aram and uh, it has got a lot lighter in the 10 or so minutes I was just on that train. And Aram might not be the dodgiest station I've been to, but it is still a dodgy station because it only sees six upward services and six downward services a day. You've got morning services, in the middle of the day services, and then evening services. Uh, I did come out first thing in the morning for the morning ones because uh, if I didn't start from Hull today, I would have only been making the evening services. And I just thought in case a train was like cancelled or anything like that, uh, it would be for the best to come out first thing. <laughs> This does seem to be a really quiet station. It's really actually quite pretty. I do like it here. You can just hear the birds chirping as well. Uh, Aram is a northern only station and it does have two platforms. And it is a lovely surprise as well that the platforms are staggered. Aram, there are these different shaped shelters with some yellow seats. Uh, there's also a Harrington hump on either of the platforms because there was quite a step down from that train actually. And we do have a level crossing here as well. I have got an hour here until my train back down the line. I'm gonna have a walk to a nature reserve. Um, I'm just currently looking to see if there's any pavements. I hope there's some pavements along here somewhere. There might be. There might be down there. Are there any pavements? There's certainly grassy. We've got grassy pavements. Okay, cool. Got new shoes as well. <laughs> Well, it was a lovely walk trying to get to the nature reserve but I actually can't get any further to be honest because the nature reserve is over there but there's no path uh, to get me over there so I think I'm just going to walk back to the station but yeah lovely walk for um, not even seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> is that Beverly is run by Northern Trains. It's got two platforms and full trains also start the London route from here.
It does remind me here of, you know that station I went to in day whatever it was? You know the one I mean. <laughs> to be honest, it is uh, taking me far longer to film this series than I initially anticipated, not gonna lie. But uh, finally, was it just with Beverly well down there anyway, being uh, quite an indoorsy station. <laughs> Now uh, to cross the platforms here at Beverly, which I do need to do to, uh, to get my next train, which is in about 20 minutes I think, um, you actually at present time have to come outside of the station ever so slightly and cross over the level crossing because the footbridge is currently closed. Just got off 174.75. I'm now at Hutton Cranswick. There are loads of plants along the uh, the sides of the platforms. There's even a train plant pot over on the other platform as well. There are two platforms here, and Hutton Cranswick is served by Northern trains. And there's also Harrington Humps on the platforms. The gates of the level crossing are going down now, which means my train is about to pull in. But basically, I did think the trains here were every hour, but obviously that's turned out not to be the case because I've only been at Hutton Cranswick for like 15, 20 minutes. Is it that 155 again? I think it is, yeah, it's uh, 155 344. Naverton is a northern only station and it's got two platforms and when you're at Naverton you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at Naverton you put your knickers on your head and you shout squishy babies! At Naverton we've got some modern northern shelters, we've got a blue bench over on this platform and some bike racks. There's also a ticket machine down at the end of the platform. I'm on probably not for too long. Um, it's actually a different 155. It's 155, 3, 4, 1. I'm at Driffield. I'm pretty sure all the trains that come down this line do stop here. I think it is one of the more popular stops. Um, but also, I was initially, when I was coming to Driffield, going to go to Tesco's to get some more food. But I don't think I have time to do that. There is a ticket office here. There's also a little indoor waiting room here on this platform. There's also on both platforms a bench with Driffield written on it. I do really love benches with station names written on them, so yeah, I might cross and have a sit on that. I have just looked at the information just where I did see this uh, this morning somewhere at one of the stations as well, but at the top, the train that's being showed is still the seven something or other which has been delayed. I mean, it's been delayed for quite some time now. Like, uh, I don't know if that train ran or not, but yeah, I th don't think it's still delayed. <laughs> at Bridlington now most services do terminate here like the one that I've just got off the train was 155342 uh, this time another different 155 but this one honestly that like, I'm just trying to recover at the moment where I was sitting there was a really loud humming and it's like proper knocks my hearing <laughs> Oh, ain't it pretty in here near the booking office? Um, I have actually seen pictures of Bridlington and this is the bit that I've seen pictures of. And the, the standout feature in this station has always been to me, even though I've never been here before, these circular blue benches. There were similar ones at Hull, actually. There is some scaffolding up outside of the station. Now, I was going to go to the beach, but now I'm thinking, because I've only got 15 minutes until my train to Scarborough, I'm not sure whether to risk it or not because I think it is about a 10 minute walk or something like that, but there is a Tesco outside of here as well. <laughs> 
Brillington is run by Northern Trains and it's got three platforms, although interestingly the platforms are labelled, well these two here are labelled six and five, so I'm guessing that one over there is platform four, but platform four, or the third platform, it doesn't look like it's in use at the minute. Just got off 174.57 and it has brought me to the terminus of Scarborough and this is uh, my final station of the day. The sun's finally coming out as well, that's great. Scarborough is a grade two listed station. It's run by TPE, it's a little bit dark under here. Um, you've got Northern Trains calling here as well and it's got five platforms. Um, I've been to Scarborough once before I think. Okay, so the best thing about Scarborough Station is what is on platform one, and it is the world's longest railway bench, and it is 139 metres long, I think. I'm gonna have a sit on it. It's so far down at the end of platform one as well, way away from where the train's pulling, that nobody really comes to even sit on it. Well, I might not have had time to visit Bridlington Beach, but I do have time to visit Scarborough Beach. That is where I'm headed now. And yeah, it'll be uh, great to end the day on a beach. I'm a bit out of breath from climbing up all them steps but today has been wonderful is what I'd usually say at the end of my vlogs I'm just gonna be honest at the end of the day this has been my experience riding the Yorkshire coastline or whatever it's called so from the moment I stepped foot on my first train I have been tracked the whole day my movements have been recorded and in the end I was actually banned from going to any more stations but luckily I already had done the rest of the stations between Bridlington and Scarborough way back when anyways I usually would recommend coming down a line but after the way I've been treated today Am I going to be coming back riding down that line? I don't think so. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye -bye -bye. My legs are hurting so much I can't even stand up. At Aram there are these uh... At Aram there... <laughs>